Hello and welcome back to the Watchman Channel. This prophetic word comes from Diane Anil, Detroit, Michigan. Build your sanctuary. As I was thinking about the word Sweet September that God gave me, I was evaluating if there was anything specifically I needed to partner with, and also pondering if others were experiencing the sweetness prophesied. I have experienced a shift in September. However, I know there is more to come. Even as I write, I see huge white linens hanging in the air. They are filled with honey. I see the linen getting ready to burst at the seams and be released. As I was meditating on this word, I heard, Build your sanctuary in September. I felt it was instruction to receive the sweetness being released from heaven. A sanctuary, by definition, is a place of refuge and safety, as well as a place that is holy. It is symbolic for the altar, the high altar, or the holiest place within a church. The Father is inviting the body of Christ to build a sanctuary, a holy place of deep intimacy, an altar of worship, and pure surrender. I saw the thick honey of heaven dripping on the altar, and I saw an image of Winnie the Pooh rolling around in it carelessly, with great laughter and pure joy. There is an invitation to experience the sweetness of heaven, and God's goodness. However, don't just wait for it to happen. Dive into the altar of intimacy and enjoy the gifts the Father has in store for you. There is an abundance of joy awaiting in the sanctuary. The joy and laughter available isn't dependent upon your circumstances shifting. They are simply a gift that overflows out of our intimacy with the Father. The joy of the Lord is our strength in every circumstance. Nehemiah 8.20 Some of you have been jaded by disappointment, and it has created a hardening within your hearts. The Father understands and sees the whole picture. I saw him invite those of you who feel this way to simply lay down and rest on the altar. He wants to give you a place of refuge and safety in him. You don't have to wage war, strive, and exhaust yourself in warfare. He says to lay down your weapons and rest in me. I saw this sanctuary of refuge and rest. It was becoming a place of weeping. And the weeping opened up a gateway to a softening of hearts, healing from deep disappointment and despair. I heard him say, I am removing from them the state of entrenchment. By definition, entrenchment is a state of being firmly established and difficult or unlikely to change, ingrained. The Father is miraculously removing and shifting situations and mindsets, those that appear to be impossible, difficult, unlikely, or even deeply ingrained. Will you lay on the altar of surrender and find your place of refuge and rest? Will you build your sanctuary of peace, promise, and experience his restoration? Friends, I encourage you to make room and carve out the time to build your sanctuary. Some of your sanctuaries are built, but a little dusty. (laughs) Some are built and have barricades around them from hurt and disappointment. Some are ready. They're already dripping with honey, and the Father has seen your beautiful sacrifice, your steadfastness, and surrender. Some of you need to build from scratch and get back to basics. Wherever you are, there is no shame nor condemnation. There is an invitation, an invitation to build. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Will you show us today, in our quiet time with you, God, how do we build your sanctuary? God, am I one who has barricaded my sanctuary? Is my sanctuary a little dusty? Or Lord, is the altar of my sanctuary dripping with honey, the honey of your sweet presence, the honey of sacrifice to you and steadfastness, God? Lord, I want to surrender to you. Lord, I want to be with you in that place of refuge and safety. I want to dwell in the secret place of the Most High. And I thank you, God, that this is a time, this is a season, Lord, to build my sanctuary. Lord, are you telling me to build it in the natural? Is it a heart posture? I thank you, Holy Spirit, that you reveal to me, you reveal to my friend, Lord, exactly how to build, how to build our sanctuary with you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.